Like everything in nature, man is constantly changing, moving through cycles of birth, growth, and death. But unlike nature, our state of mind prevents us from accepting this natural rhythm gracefully. This denial creates the resistance we call aging. In nature, we call it majesty and are in awe and appreciation of this ripening of life. young and fresh as this street. Hi, my name's Ali. Hi, I'm Zeno. We feel we've discovered a secret and we want to share it with you. It's a secret of staying young. I'm 50 years old, Zeno is 48. And like most people in modern society, we grew up with the idea that once you're 40, you're over the hill. More and more, the ideal of eternal youth and beauty is something we have to live up to. And it's unnatural. There's a whole industry out there selling us cosmetics, plastic surgery, expensive workout programs, not to mention the outfits. And they're all built on a denial of the natural aging process. And why should we deny it? We're still feeling great and life goes on. So let's make the best of this time by taking good care of ourselves. Of course, modern living is stressful. But with this secret technique that we've found, you can slow down and sometimes even reverse the aging process. It's simple, natural, and it takes only 15 minutes a day. The difference with this technique is that it works organically from the inside out. And in the first section of the video, we'll explain exactly how this works. The second section will be a detailed demonstration, and the last section will be a run-through of the complete program with music. So now we'd like to introduce you to this unique program that could change the whole quality of your life. Since the dawn of time, man has been searching for eternal youth. The gods and goddesses of ancient mythology prepared elixirs and searched for sacred waters to preserve their immortality. Literature and legend is rich with stories of vampires and mortals selling their soul in return for this elusive gift. In Eastern cultures, this fascination manifested in fantasies of Nirvana and Shangri-La. In reality, the secrets of maintaining youth have been known for thousands of years, confined within the monastery walls of ancient Tibet. They were only recently revealed to the Western world as interest in Eastern religions and meditation became widespread. One of these secrets is a series of five active postures which we'll be presenting in this video. They are known as rites by the Tibetan monks and are derived from ancient yogic tradition. Similar versions have been practiced by Indian yogis and Eskimo shamans. The forms demonstrated here have given the most dramatic and visible results for people over 35. Man's expected lifespan has increased by approximately 20 years in the last century. Declining birth rates and the baby boom have also meant that the proportion of people in their middle years is increasing. However, most people don't fully enjoy these extra years as they experience a decline of health and vitality by middle age. Many people are taking another look at their beliefs about aging and are feeling and looking much younger. 
Combining a positive attitude and a real commitment to working with these exercises can produce visible results within a few months. How and why these simple exercises work. Eastern cultures recognize seven energy centers in the body, referred to as chakras. These chakras of the energy body correspond directly to the seven endocrine glands of the physical body. The chakras spin, stimulating the glands which release hormones directly into the bloodstream. These hormones regulate the functioning of all body processes. As we grow older, stress, negative thought patterns and pollution slow down the spinning of the chakras, creating hormonal imbalance which causes the aging process. These exercises help to recharge the chakras and return them to a healthy rate of spinning. They stimulate the circulation of oxygenated blood and lymph throughout the entire body and balance the secretions of the endocrine glands. So we have a quick and effective program to regain youth and vitality. This theory is supported by recent medical research and scientific work with Kirlian photography in which the aura or energy field around the body can be seen to contract and change as the body ages. The process of menopause creates significant reductions in hormonal secretions. Many books have been written and studies made about this difficult period of a woman's life. One well-known fact is that production of the hormone estrogen decreases adversely affecting the skin and bone tissue. This causes wrinkling of the skin and degeneration of the bones. These exercises address this issue directly and can be a tremendous boost during this period of change. We'd also like to point out that these exercises are very powerful and work on many levels. They are practiced by the Tibetan Lamas as meditations and have an impact far greater than just the immediate physical benefits. We don't promise that you'll look 50 years younger or live to 120, but we can say that performed daily, these exercises can keep you fit, tone and strengthen the body, create a relaxed state of mind, and take years off your appearance, a high rate of return for only 15 minutes of your day, and now, a few helpful hints as we get ready for the exercises. Work at a pace appropriate for you and your body. The exercises can be done quickly or slowly, whatever is natural for you. Breathe deeply into the belly, taking in as much air as possible. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Drink at least four glasses of pure water during the day to help remove toxins from the body. Positive ideas and beliefs about yourself are important and will increase the effectiveness of the program. Start with five repetitions of each posture. Then add two more each week until you reach 21. Do not do more than 21 as this could result in overcharging the body. Now to a demonstration of the exercises. Our model, Nissi, is 47 years old. The first exercise is very simple and serves to speed up all the chakras. In the East, it is known as whirling and is practiced by Sufi dervishes to accelerate the vital flow of life. Stand with your feet slightly apart and your arms extended at shoulder height. Turn your left palm up and your right palm down. In order to reduce dizziness, focus your eyes on a spot directly in front of you. Keep your eyes on this spot as you start turning your body slowly using small steps. As your head turns, refocus on this point as soon as possible. Breathe deeply as you turn. 
In the southern hemisphere, turn in an anti-clockwise direction. In the northern hemisphere, turn in a clockwise direction. Count as you turn until you reach the number of repetitions you are doing today. After each exercise, we suggest taking three deep breaths to help your body integrate the energy. Bring your palms together. Breathing in, slowly raise them above your head. As you begin to exhale, separate your palms and bring your arms down slowly in a wide circular movement. Feel life energy enter with the in-breath. As you exhale, bend your knees slightly. Release any tension and return to a relaxed, still point. The second exercise serves to stimulate the throat and sexual centers. Lie on your back with your arms fully extended by your sides, palms down and hands underneath the buttocks for support. In one motion, breathing in, lift your legs and head simultaneously. Keep your legs straight as the feet are brought above the head. Then slowly as you breathe out, lower the head and legs to the floor and allow all the muscles to relax. The chin should be pressed to the chest and the hips and shoulders remain touching the floor as much as possible. Flex the feet as you raise the legs. With each repetition, establish your breathing rhythm. Breathing in deeply through the nose as you lift your legs and head. Breathing out fully through the mouth as you lower them. At first, if you cannot keep your knees perfectly straight, then bend them slightly. When you've finished, place your hands across your belly and take three deep breaths. The third exercise is designed to stimulate the sex, throat and heart centers. Kneel upright on the floor with your body straight, knees slightly apart, hands supporting the buttocks. Bend the head and neck forward, tucking your chin to your chest. Then, breathing in, taking in as much air as possible, Lean the torso back as far as comfortable, dropping the head back and tightening the anus. Breathing out, return to the original position, allowing your muscles to relax. Toes are straight out or tucked under if you like more of a stretch. Repeat until you reach the number of repetitions you are currently doing. If you feel dizzy, now or during any of the exercises, relax. Take a deep breath and then continue. As with all the rites, the meditative approach is most beneficial. This exercise can stimulate the flow of sexual energy. The breath is important for circulating this energy throughout the body. After this exercise, sit back on your heels, place your hands on your belly, and take three deep breaths.
Now to the fourth exercise. Sit on the floor with the legs stretched out in front of you, shoulder width apart. Place your palms down on the floor alongside your hips with your fingers facing forward. Tuck the chin into the chest. Breathing in, move your head back and at the same time raise your body to a horizontal position, tensing all your muscles. Breathing out, relax your muscles as you return to the original position. This posture activates all the chakras aiding rejuvenation. It is extremely beneficial, so if you have difficulty, stay with it. Pace yourself. Keep your attention clearly focused on the exercise. When you've finished, lie down, put your hands on your belly, and take three deep breaths. The final exercise stimulates the brain, throat and solar plexus. Lie with your body facing toward the floor, feet shoulder width apart. Place your hands under your shoulders, raise your head and arch your spine, keeping your arms straight and your toes tucked under. Breathing in, bring the hips straight up toward the ceiling so the body forms an inverted V. The chin is pressed to the chest. Breathing out, return to the original position. As you become more proficient at this exercise, you will not touch any part of the body to the floor except for the hands and feet. Repeat until you reach the number of repetitions you are aiming for this week. Be easy with yourself. Rest in between repetitions if you need to. This completes the cycle of exercises. Now take a few minutes to lie down and relax with your hands on your belly, breathing gently and easily. Feel the energy moving through your body and enjoy the sense of well-being. exercises all together. Be sure to start with just five, adding two more each week until you reach 21. It's important to build up gradually. And remember, we're in Australia, so we'll be turning in an anti-clockwise direction. If you're in the northern hemisphere, turn in a clockwise direction.
Thank you for sharing this time with us. We hope you enjoyed the program. We encourage you to stay with it to experience the real benefit of the exercises. If we start by accepting and appreciating who we are right now, the process of change is easy and natural. And the love and care you give to yourself reflects in the world around you.